Hi guys, how's it going? I guess it was always going to happen. And now it has. In spite of the biggest democratic mandate in British history, a vote that dwarfed even the largest landslide election results since the war, and in spite of both main parties going into the last election promising to deliver it, the dirty bastards in Westminster have just fucked us off. It started small, you know, and a few vague misgivings here, a little bit of party politics there, but it didn't take those twats long to show their true colours. See, if they stood for what they campaigned, if they stood by what they campaigned for, the House would be 67% in favour of leaving the EU. The government would have been negotiating with a full support and assistance of Her Majesty's loyal opposition. You know, Cop Womble Corbyn and all his bowels. The only people opposing it would have been the regional parties and the Lib Dems. It should have been a swift and painless exit from the EU, with everyone singing off the same hymn sheet. <laughs> Sadly though, they're a bunch of lying cunts. The numbers are actually closer to 67% of MPs determined to stay in the EU by any means available to them. <sighs> Choices have dwindled down to May's Brexit in name only or having another referendum where the plebiscite better bloody well vote the right way this time. Me? Just gonna have a beer or three. Listen to some outlaw country and some southern rock. Just reflect on what's coming next. Astra Grach and Bien. Because I'm throwing you a chicken. Just sit in the hill. Wait for the waters to subside. I mean, it's not like we had much say in the matter anyway. Heath took us into the European community without any kind of vote. Back in 75, 17.4 million, sound familiar? 17.4 million voted to stay in the European community. That was good enough to keep us chained to the EU for the next four decades. I wonder what changed there. Eh? We didn't get a vote on the European monetary system. We didn't get a vote on the Treaty of Rome that forms the constitutional basis for the EU. Nobody asked us if we wanted to join the European Exchange Rate Mechanism. We'd be in the Euro now if our buddy George Soros hadn't royally fucked the entire British economy on Black Wednesday. And that's the thing. That's something that's always bothered me. That cunt almost destroyed our country. It did more damage in one day than every armed conflict we've been in since the Second World War. And they gets treated like some kind of fucking hero by the left. I mean, what the actual fuck? I thought they were against billionaires shafting the common man. Fucking tossers. We didn't get any say in Maastricht. We didn't say get any say in the birth of the EU. We hardly heard a peep about the Lisbon Treaty. Much less whether we actually approved of the whole thing. <laughs> Do you know, that's maybe why, it's maybe why it burst so many bubbles down there in Westminster. I mean, it's blatantly obvious just how much they love the whole European project. <sighs> it must have been hard for them to understand that some of us just aren't that keen on handing our fate to a bunch of unelected, unaccountable knobbins we can't even sack no matter how badly they fuck it all up. I mean, really? That's not just undemocratic. It's fucking retarded. The whole thing's arse about face. In a parliamentary democracy, the elected representatives propose new laws or amend existing ones. But in the EU, it's the Commission that does that. No one votes those fuckers in. They're appointed by a makeshift rabble from a whole bunch of national governments, their own president, the president of yet another unelected European Council, and even the EU's kiddie own defence secretary. I mean, it's bad enough that they decide whether to adopt proposals from a select few MEPs. 
But the real kicker is that they get to put forward their own notions. No matter how stupid they are, how corrupt they are, he's bang them in like a belt fed mortar. The number of articles they put forward are staggering. It's insanely difficult to get in the way of dodgy legislation. I mean, Article 13 passed in about 25 seconds flat. Did you watch that shite? Unbelievable. And I mean, there must be thousands of similar rubber stamp exercises going on every year. God, it's only always gotten into our statute books without anybody noticing. Britain's laws at the moment are about 62% based on EU fucking legislation. It's crazy. So back here in the soon-to-be vassal state of Britistan, and we're sliding back towards begging our way back into, back into slavery, one humiliation after another. I mean, watching RPM being sent into the spare room while the grown-ups decide on our fate, that was excruciating. There's going to be plenty more of that before the EU graciously agree to let us hand over £40 billion pounds just so as they can have two more years of laughing their arse off at any kind of request that we've got for please sir, can we go now? What a shit show. That. Well, God save America. At least I haven't banned Bourbon yet. Laters, guys. <laughs>